Hi you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another LPN Day in the Life vlog. If you're new here, hello, my name is Emma. Now if you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I would really appreciate it. It's currently 4.37. As much as I plan to vlog my entire day, I just could not. First of all, I'm even surprised that the day has gone by so fast, but it always does when you're really busy. Um, yeah, I've, I've planned to vlog my entire day, start the day with y'all, and you know, that just wasn't the plan. First of all, I woke up late, and secondly, I just started the day trying to catch up with some work, some alerts that I had waiting for me, and then I got through those, um, and then there were just more coming in. So, here we are. It's almost five o'clock. <laughs> Like I said, I've just been uh, triaging alerts that have been coming through, but my main focus today was to do some monitoring calls, just basically calling patients that I haven't spoken to uh, this month so far. So yeah, so this month I've been getting more patients every week, basically, like every day, basically, okay? And it's just the beginning of the month. You know, we're completing the first week of March and I've been getting patients in every day so far since the month started so this week i started with 196 and i currently have 208. it's a little bit annoying because the more i do the more patients i get which set me back a little bit when it comes to like the metrics and the goals that i'm meeting daily or weekly so i'm just trying to keep from getting very frustrated um, just because, you know, last month, if you watched my last video, I told you guys that I, um, I technically, I did end up meeting my metrics last month, but it was with the help of a few other nurses who had to come into my queue and help out with um, my patient load. I didn't like that. I don't want to build a habit of being that nurse who, you know, who constantly needs saving at the end of the month. So. Um, I'm really trying hard to keep my head above waters every day and every week of this month but that I don't need to have help. You know, the help is there when it's needed, but it's not like we have a team of nurses whose jobs are just to come in and help out. They also, the reason why they're available to, to help is because they finish the metrics on time. They're, they have some free time to come in and help another nurse. So, you know, ideally with this kind of job, you do want to, you know, finish on time so that you can rest a little bit and reset towards the end of the month and not necessarily have to keep working because another nurse needs help. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate a good teamwork culture that we have, but it's just that I do want to let these other nurses also get a little breather when they're done with their work early. So I'm just curious to see how many patients I'm gonna end up with by the end of the month because we're on week one of March and I already have 208 patients. I started the day with 206. Actually, no, I lied, not 208. So I started the day with 206 patients and right now I'm at 210. So I got four more added today, sometime today. So we'll see. We'll see how many patients I'm going to have overall at the end of the month. Um, I am anticipating this number to grow just because one of the nurses quit. So um, whenever, you know, someone leaves the company, you know, those patients have to go to someone else. I'm guessing that's the reason why I keep getting more patients, you know, every single day. It's because... They're trying to figure out where to place those patients now, now that, you know, their nurse is gone. So yeah, I, a few nurses in my pod have gotten more patients and I'm thinking those are from um, the nurse who just left. Every time I hear that someone leaves, and it doesn't happen often, but every time I hear that there's a nurse who's left the company, like I always, I'm always curious to know like what happened. Like, did she find a, another job, a better job? Did she find another remote job that's better than this? Because every time you leave a job, it's because you found something better, right? So I'm always curious to know like where are these nurses going? Are they going back on the floor? Did they find something else remote? I always want to know. Unfortunately, she's not a nurse that was in my team, so 
I don't know, maybe the nurses and her team know what happened. But yeah, I'm always curious to know, like, where are they going? But um, yeah, so that's one of the changes. And also, we are now required to work holidays. Not all of us, not all the nurses have to work on holidays. Before this decision, there's always been like a volunteer of nurses who would work holidays. Um, according to the regulations, the CMS regulations, like our services are supposed to be offered every day of the week, technically within normal business hours. And so during the holidays, because we're off, there's always been like a few nurses who have volunteered to work over the holidays. And I guess there was a complaint that, you know, it's just not fair that it's always the same nurses who are working holidays. So um, it's been made company-wide that nurses are now, all of us are now required to work a holiday. So our manager asked, you know, she asked us to basically just pick whatever holiday we're willing to work. We're not gonna pay the time and a half for holidays. We just get an extra PTO day. I'm, I'm still trying to process the news, um, but it is what it is for now. It is what it is. Um, and I'm, I, for a split second, I wondered if that had anything to do with the reason the, the nurse left. Um, I don't know. So yeah, those are the quick work updates. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to call a, as a few more patients before I get off the clock. It's like 4.45 right now. I did not take a lunch break. This, this is my lunch break. We, Y'all, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. Let me just like try to finish this these last 15 minutes of work and then we'll catch up. I bought these nails um, maybe like two or three weeks ago. I just haven't had a chance to get them done. So I was like, mm, let me put them on. These are my favorite. They're the Kiss Classy Nails. They look like this. Don't these look, don't these look professionally done? You will not find me at a nail salon paying maybe what, $30, $40 for these. They look so good, I love them. I ended up having a little mani session at my desk. I am so hungry, y'all. The only thing I had to eat was one piece of toast earlier today and a few spoons of some cream, cream of wheat. That's all I had to eat today. And I'm starving. And I'm realizing that I'm getting into like this unhealthy habit of getting caught up with work being so busy with work that i would rather hold off on eating and it's taking me back to my previous job because i did that almost every day I, it was very very rare that i took a, an actual lunch break i would like go get me something in the kitchen and then come back and sit at my desk and eat and work and i just never really like took an actual lunch break which is bad um, but I don't know, I don't know what it is, but when I get in my zone with work, I just want to get it done and then go eat or go do whatever I have to do. And that's gotten worse the more I've had more patients added to my load. And so what I need to do right now before I burn out is to just like maybe set an alarm for myself and absolutely be strict with it. You know, like a lunch break alarm where I just, you know, it rings, it goes off and I go eat and come back or just take a mental break because what I've been doing for the past week is just like work, 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 work. And then, you know, it's either I get interrupted by my husband or my daughter or I have to stop and go cook and hurry up and come back and, you know, finish off my work. But for the most part, if I don't have to get up out of the seat, I usually like stay put. So, so I got to do something about that because I don't want to turn this into a habit to where I'm skip to where I'm skipping lunch because I'm starving and it's almost five o'clock. So I need to do better with that. All right, so I'm about to enter this time 
stamp here for this patient's chart. And then I'll be off work, baby. I'm off work, baby. <coughs> so once five o'clock hits, um, I'll just refresh my cube one more time to make sure I haven't had any kind of alerts pop through while I was documenting. And then I go into my u my utilization metrics board so that I can see how much time I spent all together. So, so I will refresh that and then put that down because I just like to jot down um, my metrics for each day and y'all know if you if you're new here i like to keep a little notebook to where i keep my um, metrics going and then also at the end of the day i tally down the number of monitoring calls that i've done because we report that number to our pod lead so that she can report it to the manager essentially so i'm going to report that to her and then just be done with the day y'all And we're off for the day. Um, so I'm about to head downstairs and have me something to eat. I didn't cook anything for myself. Y'all, to be honest, I have been very lazy this whole week and I haven't really made anything. I haven't really cooked anything for myself. For my family, I made them some baked chicken yesterday or the day before yesterday. And they've been kind of eating off of that, of the leftovers. Um, so today I'm thinking I'm probably going to make some rice. I have been craving and I think, well, let me just say this. The reason I haven't really been in a mood to cook anything is because I've been craving some really good salmon from Whole Foods. If you have not tried salmon from Whole Foods, please go get you some. We get the organic salmon from New Zealand. You will not regret it. When I tell you the taste the difference in taste and texture and quality is just like unmatched. Go get you some and try it. But anyway, so I've been craving that all week. So now that I'm off work, I'm thinking I'm gonna go get me some. So yeah, you guys, that's what I'm, that's the plan for today after work. So I usually don't like to leave my house like right at five o'clock or between five and 6 p.m. because you know, I know that this is a time that people are getting off work and, you know, all of that traffic, you know, that five o'clock traffic. So I try not to leave the house between those hours. So I may just hang around and um, until that traffic time dies down some because I'm not trying to get caught in that traffic, y'all. Y'all. I don't know where the time is going. It's almost 5.30. Like, where is the time going? I just got off work. So, yeah, you guys, as I was saying, I've been really busy with work. Um, I actually plan to start vlogging since the beginning of the week, but it just didn't turn out that way because work has been working. Work has been working your girl out, okay? And yesterday... It wasn't so busy, but I did have a busy day and I had all the plans to work out after work and just hop on my bike. I couldn't even do that, y'all. So I just settled for the walking pad. I turned on Love is Blind on Netflix and I just walked for about 40, 46 minutes and it felt so good. So one thing about working from home is like you really have to force yourself and be intentional about moving your body maybe i should get a um a standing desk just so it can add some height so that i can at least stand um this past weekend i found myself doing a lot of research uh you know i like to stay up to date with what's whatever current events are going on and especially like just paying attention to the economy and the market and whatever else is going on in the world so sometimes randomly i will look up jobs just see like i'm just curious to see what is there in the market either remote nursing jobs or wellness director positions like i'm not looking for a new job i'm not uh, i just like to see 
what jobs are out there and how much of it is out there because it just will tell you a lot about the economy and what's going on so i came across numerous jobs you guys and i ended up saving them for y'all like i said i like to just look and see what else is out there in the market and i found a few remote positions if you're watching this video and you've gotten this far it's because it was meant to be because i'm going to go ahead and leave my email address in the description box if you're looking for a remote position or a remote job go ahead and email me so that i can send you the links to the jobs that i found this past weekend now that's it's been a few days now i don't know if these jobs are still open um, i'm hoping they are and i'm hoping that you can apply i thought about posting it on my community tab excuse me but i was like that's going to create too much competition and i want the people who are meant to get this news to have the opportunity to apply so if you are watching this and you're looking for a remote job or you know someone who's been interested um, i'm going to leave my email address in the description box so that you can apply or whoever would be interested can apply there's for numerous positions for multiple states across the country, some with very, very no, well-known insurance companies, others with private companies. So if y'all create some kind of list of y'all, of my supporters who are currently looking for a remote job, and whenever I find something, I'll just go ahead and forward the, the links over to you guys. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I'm not gonna do it all the time. It's just whenever I'm in my moods to just see what else, what jobs are out there in the market, I'll be sure to share with you guys what I find. For my little Aaron run. I stopped at Ulta to get my daily facial cleanser, my holy grail. It's called Coco Kind and it's a oil to milk cleanser. Looks like this. Been really into Korean products and I'm loving it. I have no complaints whatsoever. This is ideal for like winter time when your skin tends to be a little bit more dry i just love using this because it it never after i wash my face and my face never feels my skin never feels like it's dry or stripped and it's because of this it keeps me it keeps my face clean and yet moisturized so i love this and then i also got um an overnight exfoliating treatment um, it helps with exfoliating i thought i would try this i have very sensitive skin and so Sometimes, even when I'm very gentle, if I'm using an exfoliator or like or a cotton pad, if I'm doing too much motion, my skin can kind of get start to feel a little bit irritated. So, I'm excited to try this overnight exfoliating treatment. Good Molecule is another brand that I love, uh, that I absolutely love. It's also Korean. I use their daily moisturizer. I also have their pineapple exfoliant. Um, even although I think it's pretty expired, but I have that one. I still use it though, so I don't know. Do exfoliators expire? I don't know y'all, but oh, that's all I got. I went in for one thing, I got something else, and it was like $6, so. And then from Whole Foods, I got um, some chopped spinach because I actually wanna have um, some spinach and rice with my salmon tonight. And then I got this red lentil dal with spinach i'm excited to try it vegan and i'm excited to try it i'm probably gonna have it for lunch or dinner tomorrow and then i got some salmon y'all the shopping experience at whole foods is top tier too bad the food is really expensive but just walking around the store makes you feel like a valued customer unlike a few of these stores which I dare not name but um, I got some salmon they'll even put it in some ice for you y'all so I got 1.88 pounds of salmon 
And this is how much it costs, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna eat this with no guilt, y'all.